Well, if you probably ask anyone from the outside what, what St Kilda's identity, they'd probably say they're a high pressure team. Um, and they just they live on their pressure. So we, we thought we were a good pressure team when we got here, Rats and I, and then um, you know, we, we wanted to change a few little things that we did around the ball and just to not make us all so focused on just the pressure. Um, but a lot of it was around the ball movement and um, how fast you want to move the ball, how slow you want to move it at times, because either way it affects how you defend. Uh, we wanted to get a better shape around the contest. Uh, we wanted to move, move the ball different. We got some good looks inside 50 and we just weren't able to capitalise on them. But we started really well with four, fourth and five. Um, and we lost a few games in that middle period. You know, a few double win here or there. And um, I, I thought a lot of the stuff we did here was you know, what we needed to do. Um, we just need to get better at doing it. So whether that's you know, executing a skill, uh, executing a team role, you know, playing um, you know, part, your part in team defence or team offence, that's always going to be um, our next challenge. And that's how we're going to get better again, is doing that better and for longer. You know, losing people to injury creates opportunity for other people. And to see Wilkie get you know, an opportunity to play there, and then with Caulfield and Clark you know, to take over Geary's role, um, we saw some players develop, which was really exciting. You know, JB's strength is using the ball. Um, you can see when he gets time and space, he can hit anyone anywhere. So uh, that was really exciting for us to get him up on the wing and to get him into more contests, you know, getting more opportunity to kick the ball inside 50 that we can get scores from. And Gresh, you know, his work around a contest in a 20 metre bubble is as good as anyone's in the AFL. So how do we get him into more opportunities to be in that situation? So uh, he played a lot of midfield, he obviously played forward a bit as well, but trying to create a role that got a bit of both, which was uh, crucial to him playing well. Yeah, Steely um, you know, was our tagger most of the year. His diligence to want to play on the best and to beat the best, he just loves it, he loves that challenge and loves it doing it week in, week out. Our responsibility as coaches now is to make him one of those good players he's been tagging and not make him a tagger for his whole life. The trade period coming up, so that's going to be an exciting time for the club. Obviously, we're going to try and get talent in, as every club does. We want some new players in, some new talent, and that's exciting for us going into pre-season because um, you always want to add talent and if you can keep adding it, you keep getting better.